My name is Elizabeth Lakefill and I am a traditional owner of this Lakefill National Park. I, I am a Lama Lama. My father's a Lama Lama. And um, this is part of my country. I'm going along bending the grass just to keep um, bending the low bits of the grass and cool fire and just going along with the wind, bending the grass. Yeah, you pull them up there. Well, I go on dad used to do them. Me too, feed your whole family. You run them like a have a shock them, am I right? You keep poking them up, cool you, give her another one, feed, yeah. You can't hardly see the flames and you can't hardly see the smokes. And you're on the thing, so we want to mark the spot here for the sugar bag. Yep. So we just press mark. A data monitoring sheet was developed with the traditional owners and Western scientists in order to record information about the scars and hives in the area and their relationship with fire history. This information was then overlaid in a GIS that included the MODIS fire history data for the last 10 years and analysed fire history information for Kuku Taipan Fire Management Research Project, PhD. This enabled the project to overlay information with Google Earth to develop and present maps of recent fire history and highlight sites established by the Sugar Bag Project. Sites were established at Nukum or Saxby Lagoon in Kukutaipan country. In 2009, the Kukutaipan Fire Management Research Project was formally mentored to neighbouring clan group Lama Lama. This provided opportunity to establish sugar bag sites at Bazant and New Laura. Bazant also became the site for hosting the 2009 fire workshop where Elder Dr Tommy George, with support from a TKRP program, was able to share his fire knowledge with groups from across Cape York and the wet tropics. This begins the realisation of a long-term plan held by elders for the area, that neighbouring clan groups work together to manage and look after the health of country. This is the um, tea tree flower that the bees that we have to keep alive and keep it nice and healthy, the tree, because this is where the bees come and get the pollen to take back to the tree to make their honey. At the moment, we've got some of, the, some of these scientists that's on our traditional land that doing a research on sugar bags and um, scientists came from over Darwin to come and do some research on sugar bags here. Um, this is a fire scar that's been bent all the way up to the tree and it shouldn't be bent that far, it should be bent down low. But it bent right up where um, it bends right up towards the bees and the canop canopies. So hi, I'm Mike Lewis. I'm from Charles Darwin University. I'm working with the TKRP group on the stingless bee project. And what we have here is a, a really good example of a stingless bee hive. Um, you can see that it's been previously harvested. And uh, interestingly, yesterday this area was burned out in a cool burn and the bees are still active and staying at the hive, which is good. So we have a few specimens that we've collected, and what we're going to do is we're going to talk to one of the elders, uh, Tommy George, about this, and see whether the Western RDs match the traditional knowledge in the, in, in, in the area. So Tommy, this is a specimen that we've collected from the the hive behind us here, yeah? and we were wondering whether you could tell us a little bit about the bees and maybe ID them um, for us. Yeah, you see, these bees, yeah, I can my language, I can real, 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 
Hey, he goes around and pick up all the flour, you know? Mm -hmm. He's no longer can yarra. Can yarra. He get all the flour and take them up there on top and get all the honey, you know? Mm -hmm. Get that sukuba grass. See that sukuba grass there? Yeah. Get that one? All right. Get a kulupang. You get a, well, you get a stick and long, you know, time around that grass. Mm -hmm. See where you get that fork there? Mm -hmm. Climb that, up on the fork? Yeah, get up and then you run and put that, where you got up, grass, run down. So uh, that's what old dad, that's how I know. Old dad used to do that. Oh, I feed the whole family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what tribe? Yeah. Pops it one up. All the honey. Yeah. Pass it down then. Pass it down to, all right. You, you get that long stick. You get the honey. Well, all, all of them. Honey all of here. So, and you give a, all of a feed. Pass it down. Yeah. All right. Next one. Pass around. Might go around. Everyone around there. So all have gold, you know. Mm. Feed the families. Yeah. So a big sugar bag. Is it way this up? makes a big sugar bag. Yeah. Is this the is this the same bee yeah. that also attacks you when you when you go to to get honey or is, no, is this no, another one? No, no, that's a real wound. Uh, the English bee is the one tacky. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. It's right here. When you get full honey, yeah, they'll fly all over you too, but they won't. They won't bite like, you? No. no. Yeah. Yeah, we won't. Mm -hmm. We're uh, calm with this one. Big sugar bags. Oh, well, what we got here is an example of a old sugar bag nest. And what they've done, they've probably got a forky tree and just climbed up to it and just tipped around the edge of it, and got inside and honey sugar bag are inside. And there's, there's lots and you can tell about this tree. Leading with traditional knowledge, action, research in the field and supported by Western scientists, is starting to result towards innovative research outcomes using biological indicators such as native bees combined with traditional land management techniques has many benefits and allows for mutual respect between the old ways and the modern science of today. The two knowledge systems working together can produce positive impacts on environmental and community-based projects and it is crucial that these grassroots methodologies get the opportunity to demonstrate this and grow to their fullest potentials. It's an interesting time. It's an exciting time to start revealing new ways of changing the paradigms of research by strengthening core resources that are directly related to the people and the country. So Tommy, we've talked about the bees and you've told us about um, uh, the, 
the different the different uh, varieties and and how your people have used them in the past and we've been in the area a couple of days now and we've done some fire management and I believe that uh, your people have used fire in a way to keep the bees on country um, the bees are really really important to you mm. and I'd, I'd like you to tell me a little bit about how fire and fire management and and the bees have all come together for for your people yeah yeah well in the old days you know we used to burn grass like that yeah and everything new you know grass or kangaroos yeah new shoots have a good feed or plows on a tree Good, you know, or honey, or strawberry. Yeah. So, Tommy, tell us about how you manage fire to for the bees and the good burns that were put in on the land to keep bees on country. Well, it's a question. You see, you've got to work on the country, you know. You've got to work on the look after the country, burn. Uh, yeah. Yeah. To feed the animals, yeah. yeah. With green grass, all uh, every time you go down the box, see all different areas. You see where we were going down there yesterday? Mm -hmm. Box flat, the all mixed trees. You see all the birds, black cockatoo, mm -hmm. all come. And that's because, of, them, that's because yeah. of the careful burning that was done. Well, that's right, yeah. You've got to be careful. But in certain places, you know, different area. Mm -hmm. Here, I want to fly a sandwich, you know. Mm. All the trees you can hardly, they're, they're all around here already. So the traditional knowledge on burning was that if you burned early in the year, you would you would look after the bees, but also lots of other animals would well, come out of country be, and and it yeah. would be more healthy and, yeah, and a, yeah. better, a better a better a um, better ecology or a better system. Yeah. 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 